<clears throat> hey guys, just checking in. I'm having kind of a boring day. Um, I got my schedule for the week and I was a little discouraged because I only had four shifts and I really need to work like five or six because sometimes the shifts can be short if there's overstaffed or there's not enough customers. So um, I ended up picking up another shift last night and working a double, which was almost 11 hours before I got home. So that was good. Not so great for the dogs, but I was thankful for that. And I was able to get almost all the money that I need for my rent and just $30 short. And um, then this weekend, all the money I go, we'll just start collecting for next week's rent. But um, uh, I don't have any extra to like go anywhere today. I didn't even want to spend money on gas. So I'm just hanging out and being bored and praying and listening to different things um, between, you know, testimonies and sermons and scriptures and prayers just trying to get close to God um, in any way I can. I don't always understand why I've, I've had so much downtime. I don't really like having downtime, but at the same time, I'm so thankful that I'm not so stressed in the restaurant business like I have been in the past few years, like really taxing um, jobs that they just expect so much from you. And at my age, it's rough, but um, this job is actually easy on my body, easy on my mind. <laughs> Uh, shorter shifts, so I just don't get that stress at all from it, so I'm thankful for that. But at the same time, I'd rather be using my time at the church, which I've been really thinking a lot about that church that I found that I'm drawn to, the hip-hop church, which, of all things, which is not really my style, but I think a lot of it has to do with Danny, but um, but also just the connection. God wants me to connect with these people for some reason. The pastor is awesome. Like, he's a national hip-hop artist, but he is so in touch with his congregation, and he really pays attention. Like, he actually sent me a video call just thanking me for being there for my first time and actually holding the card that I wrote out for a first-time visitor. And, um, and then he actually mentioned my son by name, which... That amazed me that he remembered that. So he prayed for me um, Sunday if I didn't say that. So um, that's how he knew my son's name. And um, just awesome. So um, maybe, you know, I'm drawn there because it's they're good people. And I said, you're the real deal. So um, I don't know. They're building a coffee house. I'm thinking about maybe, um, I mean, a, yeah, like a coffee bar out in the lobby. Big lobby. So <laughs> thinking maybe I can help with that. But... I'm just looking forward to getting there, and it's it's about 20 miles from here where I'm staying, so I'm really looking forward to getting that lease. I was looking at apartments this morning online, and I'm going to do some drive-bys, but funny thing is one of the uh, inquiries I sent out, they sent me back a message and asked me um, if I was still interested, and when I looked up the address, I, I realized I had just seen that on a video on YouTube of the same apartment complex and it was on the 10 worst neighborhoods in Tampa and in fact it well it was number 10 but it was like <laughs> the first thing on the video so I'm like that's interesting but hey you know I, I just think a lot about Paul lately like he was content whether he's in lack or in riches or wherever I mean I've lived in so many different places and different ways. I, I remember I was thinking this morning about my house in Palm Harbor, Florida, which was beautiful and in a really nice neighborhood. And I remember one of my, um, my, uh, my foster sister's son coming over to visit from Connecticut. And he walked in and he said, Oh my God, she lives in a palace. <laughs> and I just always remember how cute that was. He must have been 10 years old. And it was probably just the columns. I had columns on around the porch and columns in my living room. I like reproduced the columns into the house and I designed the house. So, so <laughs> I can see where he thought that a 10 year old, but it was just so cute. But anyway, it just goes to show what a difference. Uh, I'm willing to live in the hood now if that's where God wants me because I just want to be in his purpose and walking in 
the destiny that he has for me and like everything's an experience and if it's all for his reasoning then I'm all for it so anyway we'll see what happens uh the land deal looks like it's still going good and so by March 1st we should have a lease so praying and believing for that and I'm just just plugging along in the process so I'll keep you updated have a great day night wherever you are bye